Hi, my name's Alyssa and I'm Brightly Zoe's lifestyle expert. If you're into sustainability, subscribe down below, become a change maker, but other than that, let's get started. So today I will be walking you through my eco-friendly shower routine. I know a lot of people start their sustainable living journey in their bathroom because where people typically see a lot of plastic produce is in their kitchen and in their bathroom, mostly coming from their daily routine items. And I've been everywhere and back trying all different kinds of sustainable products and I'm at a place where I feel pretty good about my routine. So we're gonna go step by step and let's get into it. All right, this is a little pre-shower action, but removing your makeup. So my ride or die is the makeup eraser. So I actually got this in seventh grade. So for reference, I just washed this like three days ago. So just note, this is like incredibly stained from my high school years when I like caked on mascara and my middle school years where I caked on foundation. I don't wear as much anymore, but that's where all of these stains came from. And I remember they had a booth at Sam's Club and they were testing these out and showing you how they use them. My mom bought it for me. I literally think I was in seventh grade so that she wouldn't have to keep buying me makeup wipes. And y'all, I am 21 and this thing is still going strong. Like they say to replace it every few years, but like why? It's still working, it's still working. I keep cleaning it and like, yeah, it doesn't look like the day I bought it, but it still works the exact same. It's unbelievable. And I wanted to give a special mention to this. So this is a new find of mine and it's from Lush. Hopefully you can see it a little bit better. It looks pretty plain. There's a little tear in it because I've used it so much. And right here, it's starting to kind of get see-through. So what this is, is basically your makeup remover and makeup remover pad in one. It was a little over $3 and as you use it, it biodegrades. Now the man that was working the store when I bought this told me it would last me about two weeks. And I think he either misspoke or misheard what I asked because it has been five weeks using this every day to test this out. So over a month, month and it is still going pretty strong. And for under $4, I feel like that's pretty good. And the fact that I'm still going to get some more uses out of this, like it's definitely not done. It still does the foaming up, but it's really neat. I thought it was a really cool experiment. Maybe if you do a little more makeup and you need that makeup remover like solution that kind of foams up, this would be really cool for you. I think after this, I'm honestly gonna stick to my makeup eraser, but I wanted to mention it in case somebody is looking for something different. Okay, next is washing my face. So I always say take skincare with a big grain of salt because everybody's skin is so different and I am not a dermatologist. I'm just telling you this because I've rebought this so many times and I really like it and I think it's a great company. So this is it. It's the Lark Skin Co. Sunflower and Chamomile Cleansing Oil. This is a small woman-owned business in St. Louis and they're sustainable. Simple ingredients and I honestly was scared at the word like cleansing oil. I, like many people, get an oily t-zone and that word just scared me. And about a year ago I had more acne than I do now and this really helped me through that. But again, take it with a big grain of salt. Talk to your dermatologist look at the ingredients yourself. But honorable mention, if you're just interested in looking into a really cool small business woman owned skincare company. Also side note, it is only two ounces of liquid and you might think that it's a little pricey for that much product because when you get it, it's like even smaller than your hand. But this stuff literally lasts me about six months. I mean, I am not buying it often. Actually, it probably could last me a little bit more than that, but I out of habit just use a lot of this because it's an oil and it just, I don't know, I feel like I need a little bit more than what they say. But even with me using more, it lasts a really long time. And that's something I always look for in products. Are they lasting me a long time? Because I don't like to rebuy things very often. Okay, hair care, ride or die, Amika. So I know what you're thinking, this it's plastic. It is, you're right. And I should preference this by saying this and the rest of my shower routine is not going to be perfect. So no, I don't use shampoo bars. They're not for me. They don't work for me. They typically work for a little bit and I think I really love them and I do like the way they apply, but over time they just kind of stop working for me and they don't lather how I really want them to. And I just really miss liquid. But the cool thing about Amika is that they partner with TerraCycle to where I can ship these back directly to them to be recycled for free. So just to reduce emissions, I'll collect a couple rounds of these bottles or things by Amika, and then instead of recycling them curbside or tossing them in the trash, I will put them in a box, ship them back with a prepaid shipping label, and then we'll recycle them back into this. Just for reference, my hair is a little more oily, it's thin, and it has a little bit of wave, but an awkward amount, so I straighten it, so I just say straight hair. But I know Amika has tons of different lines for different kinds of hair, and so if you are okay with like sending these back through TerraCycle. It's 100% free. I highly, highly, highly recommend these. They last for a pretty decent amount of time. And yeah, I like them a lot. It feels like I'm having industry standard items, just a little bit more sustainable. And another honorable mention to Everest. I'm just really liking them right now. And I actually did a whole video about them 
talking about do they really work, how they work, demoing it, the whole nine yards. And this is not sponsored, but we have had other ad placements with them, so we do have a discount code. So below, I will link the Everest video and the discount codes if you're interested in trying them yourself. So these are shampoo and conditioner concentrates. They are waterless, very low waste. They come in these aluminum tubes, and then they have these metal keys that help you push down every last bit of product. And then these little plastic caps, they actually take back to be recycled and reused. So very cool. Again, not a bar, not a solid. Once you add with a little bit of water from your shower just in your hands, it lathers up like a regular dose of shampoo. And I really wanted to be a shampoo bar person, but I am not. I am definitely a liquid shampoo and conditioner person. But I'm always open to trying things out. So if you have any good shampoo or conditioner bars, leave them in the comments, please. And maybe we can test them out. Okay, now I'm going to go into hair masks. Now, typically, I would say this is not a necessity, and it's not. This is definitely not something I need in my shower routine, but it's something I use a lot and I super duper enjoy. So same deal, this is by Amika, also recyclable through TerraCycle, and this is the Instant Shine Mask. Now, it literally looks like, if you've ever seen those apple cider vinegar solutions, it looks like that, almost like a ketchup bottle or something, and you just run it through your hair, completely soak it, and what I like about this one over any other hair mask is that I leave it in for one minute minute because I don't know if this bothers anybody else but whenever I put in a hair mask and it says to leave in there for like 10 to sometimes 20 minutes I don't know what to do with myself I don't want to be walking around outside the shower like that I don't want to sit in the shower for that long also so the fact that I can put this on in the shower after I shampoo wet my hair saturate it with this it's only in there for one minute literally by the time I'm done washing my body I'm ready to rinse this off and it's like I didn't even have to take time out of my shower routine to do it. And it's all in the name. It leaves my hair super shiny. It basically puts a temporary shine mask on your hair. And I think it only lasts till the next wash. I don't use this every day. I just use it if I'm going somewhere nice or if I feel like I need a little boost in my hair. But I super duper love it, so I wanted to give it a mention. And by the way, everything here that I'm gonna talk about is also vegan and cruelty free. Okay, next up, we're gonna dip into shaving because I do that. So if you don't shave, you can probably skip just this part, but I'm not gonna go into too much detail because I have a whole video on this. So this is the Leaf Shave Razor, has a pivoting head, but it takes loose blades like a safety razor. I will link the entire Leaf Shave review video down below, so go ahead and go watch that instead of me rambling about it here. But to go along with that, I have exfoliation. So this is a soap saver bag. I feel like they're becoming more and more common, which I love. So when you get down to just the little parts of your soap ends from your bar soap, you plop them in here and then you can just use this, lather it up. You can use it like a loofah, but it's got a a little bit of toughness to it so I like to use it to really exfoliate my legs and so like I don't have to buy like those exfoliators over and over again in different containers because I just have this and I can cut this into really small pieces and compost it after okay and moving right along we have washing the body so if you don't know about these you obviously don't follow us on TikTok. We talk about these all the time. So these are natural loofahs and they're really, really cool. They're compostable, eco-friendly. You can grow them yourself. I will actually leave that article down below. It's a really cool one to check out. And our TikTok is down below too if you wanna see all our videos about them. But they feel really stiff. This one's a little wet because I showered this morning. But once you wet them, they get nice and squishy. Squishy enough to rub on your body, soft enough to rub and pick up bar soap. I actually think these work way better with bar soap than liquid soap. So in turn, it's kind of also supporting a more low waste product rather than a liquid. And this is my all time favorite soap brand. It's a company called Sammy Soaps. You can shop them online, but they are local to me. So they give living wage jobs and fair paying jobs to adults with mental and developmental disabilities. And what I like about them is everything they do is very purposeful. So all of their ingredients are sourced thoughtfully. Every ingredient has a purpose in your soap bar and everything about your soap has a purpose in terms of providing a job. So could they have not stamped this soap and just left it blank? Yeah, but to have that stamping machine back there and have somebody physically stamping each soap bar gives another job. So they do an awesome job at providing fair wage jobs to people while also being sustainable. And I should have probably chose like a prettier one to show on camera, but there's like things in them sometimes. You'll get like little floral bits or whatever. But the reason why they're also my favorite is because they are the longest lasting soap bars I have ever tried. I have not ever found or used anything that compares. These things last forever. And I don't even know why they do. They just do. And no matter if it's on a soap lift or not, these things just last a really long time. And the last thing in my shower routine is what I like to call lazy lotion. So it comes in this little spray bottle. Let's talk about it because this is actually plastic. So this is from a company called Bluff City Soaps. 
Now let's talk about why when there's things like lotion bars and lotion and aluminum tubes, why I chose this. Because I'm telling you right now, I've tried it. I've tried the lotion and aluminum tubes, I've tried the lotion in regular plastic bottles, and I've tried the lotion bars. I've tried it all and I've never found anything that works for me like this and actually encourages me to moisturize my body on a regular basis. I hated applying lotion so much that I would just let my skin get dry sometimes. Which obviously is not great for my skin and I should be moisturizing more. But this was local to me and so I was in the shop and I was talking to somebody in there and they said, oh my gosh, I also hate lotion. You need to check out our lazy lotion. But it's actually called a shower oil. And it's basically jam packed with different kinds of oils and I just spray it on my skin in the shower and I just go like that. Like I barely rub it in. And then you just rinse it off immediately. You don't even have to wait or let it sink in. Love using this after I shave. It's not irritating to my skin at all. It moisturizes amazingly. It's just jam packed with really good oils and there's no like rubbing in a white cast or any kind of colored lotion. Lotion bars are also just too stiff for me. I hate the texture so much on my skin. It makes me cringe. So I have turned to this. Yes, it's in plastic, but I really like the staff there. I really like the company and they have other sustainability efforts besides this. So I bought it and I've had this for quite a while and see I'm not even halfway through it. And I've had this since like, what, December? It's really great and it smells amazing and it's lasting me a long time. But now that I'm using it and I'm starting to realize what the ingredients are, I'm actually thinking about attempting to make this myself so that I don't have to rebuy a plastic bottle. I can just remake it with different oils in the same bottle. So if things don't work for you, just know that it's okay to have a little bit of plastic in your routine or maybe if you decide to support something local to you and it has plastic in it but you really love the product maybe it's worth it to you so that is all for my imperfect eco-friendly shower routine i hope you like this video if you did leave a like down below subscribe to this channel and i'll see you next time